Hi, my name is Shelley, and today I'd like to talk to you about basic scanner or transducer movements. Now, you'll hear some terms um, in different educational sessions, and so it's helpful to know what those terms are and what it means um, as it impacts your image. So the first one we'll talk about is fanning. So I'm looking at the carotid artery here just um, because it's a nice big structure to demonstrate. And I've got my scanner cross-sectionally on the neck. And what fanning does, it's this type of movement. Staying on the same spot, but just fanning the probe up and down to optimize the image. And you'll see things get clearer and then not so clear. So you just want to fan your scanner until you get the best image possible. The next thing we can talk about is rocking the probe. And that requires exactly that, either leaning on the top of the probe or leaning on the bottom. And what rocking does is it just makes the sound beam enter the patient at a different angle and optimally you want to be perpendicular to the structure that you're looking at. So if we are looking at the carotid artery here, which is going straight across the screen, if I rock the probe one way, suddenly it doesn't look as clear anymore because the sound beam isn't coming perpendicular to that vessel. And if I rock on the top of the scanner, we're kind of getting the opposite effect. So you want to rock that probe back and forth until you get the best image possible. The next thing we'll talk about is rotation, and that is exactly what we're doing. We're rotating the scanner to get a different view. So right now I'm looking at that carotid artery lengthwise. I'm going to rotate the scanner 90 degrees that we're going to see it in cross section. So again, 90 degree rotation to see it lengthwise and then a 90 degree rotation counterclockwise to see a cross section. It's really helpful to practice this while you're watching the screen and pretty soon you won't have to watch the scanner and your hand anymore. And the last thing we'll talk about is sliding. So what you want to do is maintain the same angle that the scanner is on the skin and just slide the neck. And as you can see, I still have the carotid artery in the center of my image and I'm sliding up and down. So down to the lower part of the artery and up to the top part of the artery towards her head. So try practicing that with keeping the artery in the middle of the image and that'll really help improve your hand-eye coordination. If I am looking at that vessel lengthwise, if I slide the scanner up, again, you want to try to maintain the vessel on the image and then sliding down. Just gives you a different perspective along the length of that vessel. So practice makes perfect. Try those maneuvers and they'll be really helpful when you're trying to optimize your image.